All right, so this is it. Five days and a lot of hours gone into sewing this thing by hand. It's just, I'm still not done. I have to get my mosquito netting up in there. And uh, it does have a little bit of the sag factor, but I'm thinking if I put uh, a couple pullouts on uh, either end here, and maybe uh, either two in the back or just one up top. Um, a couple pullouts to just kind of pull all the fabric taut. Um, but I mean, other than that, I'm super happy and content with how this guy turned out. Let's see. I mean, the ridge lines. Everything looks pretty strong here. This one's just the back pullout. Let's show you one of these sides. I mean, it's it's set up in the wind right now, which is kind of why it's sagging, but obviously there's going to be wind everywhere. Let's let my camera adjust to everything. It's not very good at this. But yeah, here's my, uh, my pullouts. The braided elastic cord. Fixed length guy lines on uh, taut line hitches. Um... I don't know if you can see, but there's plenty of uh, sleeping space. I'll, I'll step inside in a second to show you. Um, <clears throat> my beak, eyebrow thing. Um, while it doesn't look all too pretty, it's uh, really functional. Um, we just got a little tie out right under there. Kind of overlaps. One side's a little bit longer than the other, that's okay. Purely cosmetic, purely cosmetic. Got this guy line coming out. All right, and here on the inside, this is uh, my ground sheet. I was trying to keep this, uh, this front mosquito net part with the zippered door from that big Agnes tent. Well, let's take this down, because it's, it's um, has to sit a little bit too high. Um, so I'm gonna have to put some more material up at the top, but let's take this guy down. Wow. And let's sit inside here for you. Um, oh no, being the color that it is, it actually gives some pretty good uh, shade and UV protection, but. Just set it up in the front yard. Yeah. See, it's like it's overlapping and doing a lot of movement. So, I mean, I assume if it gets wet, it'll do a lot of sagging. But there's plenty of room under here. <sighs> plenty of room. I mean, really good ventilation. And I am super happy with how this guy turned out. <clears throat> super happy. Eight and a half by five. Stands about four feet tall. Super happy. All right, now that I got it all built for the most part, I'm just gonna uh, just gonna weigh it and see the ballpark area that it's it, the whole thing's gonna be in. We first things first, we got this uh, this really green bamboo pole here. I'm uh, once it dries out, I'm assuming that this is gonna make up for the extra weight of the um, the mosquito netting and everything that I do. So let's see right now. It's weighing in at seven ounces, so I figure when it dries, it'll probably drop a couple ounces of that water weight, and uh, that'll make up for the mosquito netting. We got the six pegs. Um, I plan on making some bamboo pegs actually to go for this, but right now we're in at 2.6 ounces for the six pegs that it needs. 
and here's the the fly and the ground sheet along with uh, the mosquito netting that I have and right now this weighs in at one pound nine ounces even so now let's check it out with the pegs and then we'll add this on there alright so my total shelter weight should be around two pounds two ounces two pounds three ounces give or take uh, maybe once everything's all completely done I'll weigh it again and update you guys but really happy with how this turned out it's much better than lugging around a, a heavier heavy tent so I'm really happy